Hey, what's going on everybody? Appreciate you guys tapping back in for another video on the channel today. We're gonna be doing an update video on my buddy Angel's green Mustang, that rare green Mustang that you don't see often here in Arizona. This guy. Nice. He walked around on the car, seeing everything he's done in the past seven months, seeing what he's changed, seeing what he's added to it, and then we'll go from there. We decided to leave the Challenger in today. We didn't want to bring it out. We brought the family vehicle. Because this bad boy gets 350 miles, and it's only normally, I think it filled up at 50 bucks. The Challenger itself, I think I average about 220 miles, and that's normally like 80 bucks. So, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I think today uh, bringing this bad boy out was uh, probably the best deal. And we do still have both cars. We got the Durango and we got this. Sheesh, brother. America. Pop this little bad boy in sport and see how fast it goes. <laughs> little baby. Turbo. <laughs> uh huh. Ooh, look, another TA. A white one, too. TA 5.7 right there, brother. Help your boy out. Go run up those videos. Go check them out. Go give him a watch. Go give him a like. Again, leave a comment. I read all the comments that you guys write. We're almost there. And if this is you guys in the non-subscribe percentile, come on, run it up. Run it up, guys. You guys are watching the video, so might as well just subscribe, you know what I mean? Thinking possibly this side, probably like right there. Well, I mean, it seems like they finally took it off. Ah, uh, so. Yeah, so they finally boarded it up. No, they don't allow nobody to go up there anymore. So now it's all closed off. We got our boy behind us. And I mean, that kind of sucks. I would say. We can come up back there, you think? You think like over there in the corner? That corner to that side? Okay. Uh-huh. But it's nice out. I mean, in the shade, it feels good because the wind, it's not too, too hot. It feels actually really nice out right now. freaking closed it down now it's all empty now you can't drive up here now you can walk up here but this used to be the spot back in the day I used to do the videos there we used to do videos over there over there literally right here 
This would be the perfect spot to do videos and pictures and stuff, but now they close it off. Those people are fighting. Brother, every time I we come out to do a video, there's always somebody fighting and yelling. There's something crazy going on. But dude, it's so perfect down here in Glendale to take videos and pictures. Good ever freaking last up here. Come on, let's go down, Isabel. Windy, the air is not too hot, so that's that's perfect. I was telling this guy he, he should have took a reel of this. Poor bird, dude. Oh, hell no. He hit a hell fucking bird. No, man. This is Angel's 2019 Mustang GT. This is an update video for you guys from the last time we did the video when he first bought the car. And this is a rare Mustang, as you guys can see. This green, you don't see it often. So he's rocking up front, like we mentioned, we do got the new gloss black front grille, matching perfectly with the bottom grille with the front lip. Got it. The theme for this car is Green Goblin. Obviously you don't see this color green often, so that's a perfect little name for the car, the Green Goblin. Um, like I said, he does have the little fins on it by the little blinker lights. I think that's a cool little feature right there. Give the whole front a nice good look. And then coming along, he did get the Brembos painted with the nice little Coyote badge right there. That's pretty cool, brother. That's a pretty cool little feature right there. That's something that I thought of doing, doing like a little, like a 392 with obviously the Brembo. So I think that's a pretty cool little option to get for the Challenger one day. Um, and then same thing with the side skirts. He did get some side skirts that stick out with a little white trim. So I think that's a good little feature. He ended up going with the white out side markers, a nice aggressive diffuser in the back. This is the one that he had on his previous white Mustang. It's, I, I think these diffusers on these cars look really good. GT350 wing. Again, this has always been my favorite spoiler on the Mustangs is I just, I just love that how it sticks up. It gives the whole again back a nice look. Matching, matching with the Euros. Nice little white coyote badge in the center. Again, he got the front end. Careful, my love. He got the front end looking good and the rear looking just as good. And seven months he's owned this car and he's already done so much to it. And even to the tint, 5% all around. Again, you can't go wrong with tint. It just gives the car itself a whole different look and other than those feathers being in there this side my love come on this side this side <laughs> other than the feathers the car is looking really really good for seven months since he's owned it the last car that he had he only owned it for what two months and you already had so much done to it and uh, the car itself it just looks it looks flawless in my opinion, this is exactly what I would do if I had a Mustang. Um, it just, it looks, it flows perfect. Everything flows so perfect. But we'll check out the interior. For the interior, he is rocking these nice little paddle extensions and then this nice little wheel cover. Nice little Alcantara with the little center. And then he does have a little bit of forged carbon in here. Really nice. And then tissues, just in case. Tissue. Low key at heart, he's a Mopar guy. Only Mopar guys have crosses. Family, family, family. Give you guys a little close up again on that forged carbon. And then for the exhaust itself, he is running the same exhaust that he had on the previous car, which was a MBRP full cab back exhaust with the three inch tips. Do a quick little cold start for you guys. What? <laughs> oh my, bro, I think I did this last time too. Well, well, I mean, we could do a little trunk review. <laughs> <clears throat> Might as well do a little trunk review. Uh, I mean, you can't necessarily fit a body back here, but I mean, it has enough space for <laughs> For your groceries um we weren't gonna do a review on this part but i mean might as well all right let's let's redo this okay there it is all right come on this time my love so let's redo this so let's lock it once oh 
Oh, you got to fucking kidding me. Oof. Still has that nice deep tone to it. Not too crazy loud, not obnoxious, but just the perfect tone to make it nice and deep. And uh, again, this is the setup that I would go with. The three inch piping all around. Because he doesn't like it too obnoxious. But with paired with the headers, it's it's definitely gonna scream. If that's what you're gonna do, get headers. With this with this combo, it's gonna be freaking loud. But again, the combo up front and back, especially the way it looks aggressive at night with those side markers, dude, it's super bright. It really is. All in all, man, this car is looking uh, this car is looking really really nice. So let's power this bad boy off. Okay, there we go. But that's pretty much gonna wrap up the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, hit a like, hit that comment. Let me know what you guys think about the car. Again, in the comment, hit that like. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Road to a thousand subscribers. We're almost there. We're almost there. Slowly but surely, we're gonna get there. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.